Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to our series of Paper Craft Society Box 41. We're almost at the end, we've got a few more projects to do. Now, I have to let you into a little secret. I'd already done one video, I did it a couple, or I recorded it a couple of days ago. Went to upload it this morning, looked at it and thought, ugh, didn't like it at all. I thought, oh, how boring, it was dull, it was, ugh, it was horrible. So I decided I'd scrap that dis idea. It, well, it wasn't that as horrible, but I wasn't happy with it. So I thought, if I'm not happy with it, I doubt anyone else will be. So anyway, I've decided to scrap my original idea, which wasn't very original actually, as it happened. And I thought we'd have another idea. What we're going to do, I haven't used this beautiful glitter. It's, no, it's a very fine glitter. It's like a glittery powder. And I haven't used that yet. So we're going to use that today. And if you haven't got Paper Craft Society or you haven't got this particular box yet, box 41, that's okay. Because I'm sure we've all got glitter in our stash. And again, if you haven't got this box, for whatever reason, I'm going to be doing a project that you can use with whatever you've got. We're going to be making a Valentine's Day card as it's only around the corner. Now, if you don't send Valentine's cards, that's fine. You can just send it or you can send it to a special person. It doesn't have to be a lover. It can be your best friend, a special member of the family that you're fond of, anyone you like. So here we go. I've already put some double sided tape around the edge. This is a five by seven card. I will add these measurements in the description below the video. There are a couple of measurements, not many. And I'm just going to take the backing tape off. Now I did this ahead of time, so it should, she says, peel off easily. I did it ahead of time and then just replaced the backing tape, so it should come off easily. And indeed it has, but that was a bit of luck, wasn't it? So we're going to do that and I've put, this is a five by seven white card and I've put a piece of pattern card. This is a piece of ombre card actually from box 42, but any pattern paper will do. Any, any pattern paper you've got will be absolutely fine. And uh, what I'm going to do here, we're going to undo the, the pot and carefully, because it does go everywhere and I don't want it to run out before I finish. So we're going to carefully, I've already used it on the other project that I didn't want, that I didn't like in the end. So it's not totally a full pot, but it's a very generous pot. You get a lot. So there might be enough there. So what I'm going to do now, now I've covered the tape, what I'm going to do, I'm going to rub it with my finger into the tape so we're making a nice sticky border or a nice well it won't be a sticky border when we finish it'll be a nice glittery border well at least i hope it won't be sticky so we're just going to rub it in like that all the way around you will get glitter everywhere but don't worry about that that's half the fun of crafting isn't it getting, getting dirty or making a mess so i'll just put a little bit more down there it's probably okay but we'll put a bit more down there and then what you do, when you think you've got it all in, when you think you've got it all rubbed on nicely, what you do is you stand it up and give it a tap. You can brush it off, you can tap it off, you can do it however you like. But So you might want to do a bit of a combination. So if a little bit stays on, it's not the end of the world. So we're going to slot, put that to one side just for a minute, because what I do want to do, Oh, there's a lot of this glitter left over and I certainly don't want to waste it because it's really nice. It's nice and sparkly. So I'm going to bring the pot back in. I've put a piece of scrap paper underneath my project so we don't go all over the place. And hopefully I'm going to make a type of funnel with my paper, my, my scrap paper, and tap it back in. Well, it nearly all went back in. There's a couple of flakes left on the table or on the paper, but we can cope with that. But what we must do, because this is a fine powdery glitter, Put the lid back on. Otherwise, if you knock it, it'll go everywhere. And it'll look like Christmas all year round. But, so we won't do that. So there we go. There's a nice, quick, glittery border already. And, and I've got glitter all over my fingers, as you can see. But that's all right. If we can cope with that, it'll wash off. So you are not, I'm using heart dyes. We didn't get heart dyes this time, but that's okay. But you don't even have to use hearts. You can use the flower dyes that came in the kit if you want to. Or whatever you happen to have. But I'm going to use heart dyes as it's for Valentine's. And the first one, I'm going to use three. And being Valentine's card, I'm going to make them red. Or I've cut them in red card. And this one, the diameter is three and a quarter inches. And what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to grab my red runner tape, put some on the back, leave it as it is. I'm not going to do anything with this one. I'm just going to put some tape on. And I'm going to put it there because we're going to be adding a sentiment later on. 
and so that's that first one is just going to sit flat now i have another one and the diameter of that one is two and three quarters and what we're going to do with this one we're, if i just slide that to one side for a minute then you'll see what i'm doing if i turn it around what we're going to do we're going to fold it in half actually if i hold it in my hand we're going to fold it in half so that the two halves measure and you can do this with any shape that you've got just fold it in half lengthways so that you've got a nice sharp crease down the middle and then open it up again like that and then what we're going to do we're going to bring that back in and i'm going to run a trail of tape down there and what we're going to do is while this is still folded we're going to try and get it in the middle pop it in the middle like that and you can actually you could use a ball tool if you've got one or the end of a pair of clip or if you haven't got a ball tool i know not everybody's got these fancy tools but that's okay use a pair of scissors while it's closed if you haven't got a tool a ball tool and just press it down in the middle that's no problem and we're going to do that again once more with one more heart and this one is two and a quarter diameter and again i've just folded it and creased it and i'm going to unfold it again and once more actually i'll tell you what i'm going to do with that one because i don't want it overrunning. i'm going to put the tape on the back of the actual heart rather than the one that it's sticking to because then it'll be in the right place and it won't go anywhere else and i'm going to cut that up like that and again we're going to pop that in the middle i'm going to grab my scissors and just pop it down like that and you have a 3d heart and i think that looks really nice i'm not going to do any more to that bit but the only thing i am going to do is i found in my stash i found a sentiment that says you make me smile and after that all oh, well next next month it'll be 30 years after 30 years of marriage he still does make me smile god bless him so sometimes he even makes me laugh so there we go in a good way i mean so there we go you make me smile We've got a beautiful 3D, well, we'll call it a shape, because as I say, you could use any shape you like. And it doesn't even have to be a Valentine's Day if you don't want to. You can send this for any occasion. You can swap out the sentiment and send it for any occasion you wish. And if I stand it up, it will stand up like that. If I rock it backwards, you'll, you can see what it looks like. We've still got a bit of glitter there, but that's all right. I'd leave that if I were you, because it looks nice. Or if you really don't want it, just brush it off. But any excess glitter, you can either leave or you can brush off. I'm going to leave it because I like the sparkle. The more sparkle, the better. So there we go, guys. There is our Valentine's Day card or good feeling card, if you want to call it that. If you don't want to call it a Valentine's Day card or any occasion you like. Well, let's call it a good feeling card. I, like, I quite like the sound of that. But I'll probably put Valentine's Day card when I pop it up in a minute. And so there is our card for today. And I use the glitter from box 41. I use one of the ombre papers from box 42 and I use red cards and a sentiment from my stash. So this is really one of those projects you can use whatever you've got, whether you're a member of Paper Craft Society or not, or if you haven't got your box yet, you can use whatever you've got in your stash so you can have fun with this one. So I hope you enjoyed this and have a go yourself and I'll see you very soon with another project. We've got a couple more in this series and then there'll be something else I'm going to show you. But for now, that's it for today. I'll see you soon. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to those who subscribe. If you're watching this for the first time or you've not subscribed yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell and you'll never miss another video. And I'll see you soon. And in the meantime, take care, everybody. Have fun. And as always, happy crafting. And have a, have a happy weekend too. Bye.